Welcome back to my kitchen here at my table three. My name is Carrie and I'm so glad you stopped by. Today I'm really excited to take a part in a fun collaboration hosted by Dale over at Nine Acre um, Family Farm. Today it is all about Angler April. You may not know what Angler April is if you're not a fisherman like myself, but my husband and son do like to fish <laughs> right now. Our water's still a little bit cold for us to catch anything, and usually all we catch is maybe some grass and a couple of sticks. So, you know what? <laughs> That's perfectly all fine. Dale, uh, okay, Dale was gracious enough to let us use what we have in our freezer, and today I am going to be using these cod loins. Basically, these are cod fillets that I got from Sam's. This bag is about a three pound bag and they're all flays, no bones, no skin. And it is a perfectly flaky, mild white fish, which is perfect for this easy Instapot fish chowder. I'm going to show you how to make in a minute. But yeah, so you definitely want a milder fish for this soup, um, like cod, white fish, maybe, um, what's some of those other ones? I can't think of them, but anyway, a milder white fleshy fish uh, would work perfect in this because you are going to put it in the Instant Pot and you're only going to cook it for about six to eight minutes depending on whether or not your fish is fresh or frozen. We'll talk about that more later as I cook it. And also as you're watching the videos, which yes, there'll be a video every day this month, so be sure and check out Dale's channel that I have linked below. And on April the 30th, Dale's going to have a live giveaway on his channel at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. So you'll definitely want to watch the videos and then check that out uh, for your chance to win. So without me rambling anymore, let's jump over here to the Instant Pot and let me show you how I throw this easy lunch together uh, with this fish. Okay, so I have a, a couple, like a tablespoon of just coconut oil that I melted in my Instant Pot. I have it on saute. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to add my veggies, which is one cup of celery and one cup of chopped onions. These are just frozen from my freezer. So I just chop them up and put them in there so it's easy when I need them. So that's one cup of each. Now remember, I'm gonna have the original recipe linked below. It, it, it is a recipe on my blog. It is low fat, it's from Healthy Mama E, if you follow that, so it'll have, if you're keto, then you'll wanna do it this way, because the one on my um, website will be low fat and have higher carbs, because it has corn and carrots. And if you're keto, I'm gonna add corn to this day, you could leave that out and put more, maybe broccoli or more cauliflower, but I'm just going to saute this just for a little bit, while it's doing that. And since they were already frozen, it's not going to take very long at all for those. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add one bag of cauliflower. Again, the exact measurements are um, in the link below. And then I'll for corn. I'm going to go ahead and pour the corn in. Stir it around a little bit, and then we're going to season it to taste. Again, in the recipe, I'll give you some measurements, and then you could use that as a guide. If you don't like to just season as you go, use those measurements as a guide to get this started. And then you can taste as you go before you put the fish in to make sure it's got enough salt. And then once you pressure cook it for a few minutes, you can taste again after the fish is done. So I'm just going to add some black pepper. I'm going to add some, this is garlic seasoning, and I'm going to do a little bit more onion powder, even though I got onions in there, but you don't have to, and then some thyme. You could spice this up by putting some jalapenos in it, some chilies, red pepper flakes, anything like that. It's really easy to modify this to something your family would like. And also, if you don't like fish, it is Angler April, but if you don't like fish, you can make this same chowder uh, with chicken or um, turkey, anything like that. So you can see I just have this in there, just seasoned it up. And I'm gonna grab the salt, one second. All right. 
I'm gonna put a little bit of salt here and then I'm gonna salt the fish when I get it in there. And this is super easy, guys. This is a really easy recipe. You could do it with a frozen fish like I'm doing and I'll show you that. Everything here you're seeing me putting in here is frozen as far as the corn, the cauliflower, the, the celery, the onions are all things I have very readily in my freezer. So we got that going. The next thing I have are my, uh, let me move this so you can see, uh, is my fish fillets. And this is, uh, the recipe calls for two pounds. This is about a pound and a half of cod fillets. I get these from Sam's. The three pounds for about $17.98 where we are. And we can eat a couple, two or three times off this bag. But I'm gonna go ahead and drop those in. Let me show you how I do that. Let's get this back some. So I'm um, just going to put them in there. And fish does not take a long time to cook. So I'm actually putting these in frozen. So it'll flavor the stock too. So there's our fish. I'm going to do a little bit more salt. And you may have to taste again after it's done. A little bit more onion powder. A little more thyme. And just a little bit more of that garlic seasoning okay so then you are going to need some i'm going to use vegetable stock today because i don't have any fish stock but you could use any kind of stock you like this is just a box from all these i wanted to use up out of the pantry organic vegetable stock and we are actually keeping this dairy free because we are still um in our orthodox lent so we're not doing dairy right now or red meat. So we're gonna do this fish for a fish day. And so we're gonna keep it dairy free. So later I'll show you how we make this a creamy fish corn chowder kind of meal, but still, you know, dairy free. All right, so there's that. Now I'm making a smaller batch. So in the recipe, you'll see it calls for, um, I think it calls for two of these boxes, which would be or maybe did it. just one 32 ounce box which is what we use and then we'll come back later and show you how to make it creamy with some more liquid so i'm going to go ahead and put my instapot lid on and i'll come back and show you when it's cooked what you do next and tell you how long it cooked and all that good information all right so let's take this off i did this on high pressure for oh sorry let me stir this a little bit you can see I did this on high pressure for eight minutes. Now remember my fish was frozen. If your fish is not frozen, then you will only need to do it for probably about, probably about six minutes. Because it isn't gonna take long. And I'm gonna show you how this cod does. It just flakes right off. Do you see that, how flaky that is? And what I do is I just put my spoon down in there and break it up. What I am gonna do is I am gonna add a few more things that this is nutritional yeast, it's in the recipe. It's just for flavor. You don't have to use it if you don't want to, if you don't have it. Okay, so I'm just breaking the fish up so it's gonna be in bite-sized chunks like that. So everybody gets nice chunks of fish in their Instapot fish chowder. Like, look at that. It's so good. And if you use a mild fish, like a white fish or a cod, this is going to have excellent flavor and it's not going to be super fishy. If you use something like salmon or maybe catfish, you're definitely going to have a, a stronger fish taste. Okay, so you guys can try and see that. Now, what I am going to do, I am going to add, this is a little bit of thickener. You can use any kind of thickener you want, like um, I would say for this amount of liquid, probably about three tablespoons of cornstarch and some cold water, mix your slurry, then add it in. For uh, like a low carb version, you could use this um, like xanthan gum or gluchi if you're true healthy mama. Any kind of low carb thickener you wanted to if you were gonna make this low carb or if you didn't wanna add any more carbs to it, but cornstarch or flour thickener whatever you prefer to thicken your soups and stuff with work as well and that's going to instantly start thickening this up to more like a chowder consistency look at that it smells amazing now remember i am keeping mine dairy free so i am going to put a can of full fat coconut milk 
in it. If you're doing Trim Healthy Mama, you wanna do light. So that will keep this in an E or higher, you know, it's higher carbs, less fat. But this is gonna be just a dairy-free fish chowder for our family today. If you don't wanna use coconut milk, and if you're wondering, this does not put a huge coconut taste in it. But if you wanna use a dairy-free milk that's not coconut milk, you could totally do that. And if you wanna use heavy cream, you can just add two cups of heavy cream as well. A cup and a half, two cups, how, depending on how creamy you want it, but. That's it. So let me come back and I'll show you how I serve up a bowl, bowl of this. Oh, it smells. All right, so there it is. A steaming hot bowl of my fish Instapot Easy fish chowder. So you can definitely see the hunks of fish and the corn. The cauliflower is in there too. Let's see if I can find it. But yeah, this is pretty much adaptable, whatever you want to. If you don't want to use cauliflower, you can sub this for... I don't know, a, a quart jar of potatoes, or you could even chop up some fresh potatoes, peel, wash them, peel them, keep them up pretty small, and throw them in. Uh, but they have to be pretty small, but you could use frozen potatoes. That would be give you time to cook them with everything else instead of the cauliflower. Like I said, you could also use heavy cream. You could add some jalapenos in here. You could even add a can of these diced chilies if you want to spice it up. But you could eat this with crusty bread, some crackers, and that would be just a filling meal. Um, and it's really good, dairy-free, and you can make it gluten-free by picking your own thickener. But yeah, that is it. So we are gonna chow down after this cools off a little bit, and I will be back to end the video. All right, guys, and that is it. That is how I make my Instapot Easy Fish Chowder. So I hope you enjoyed that recipe. Don't forget to go back and check out Dale's channels over at Nine Acre Family Farm. Also, there are tons of recipes that's going to be in this April collaboration. Remember, it's Angler a uh, April, so it's all about fish recipes. So, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of them. There's already been some, so enjoy those recipes. You can find the link to Dale's channel below. Hopefully, you'll find several that you can add to your table and your family can enjoy. And Dale, thanks so much for having me be a part of your collaboration. And until the next time, guys, I'll see you later.